A few weeks ago, I asked you what made you hesitant or discouraged to pursue the actuarial career. There were so many of you that responded to this survey in the community tab of this channel, so thank you very much for that. But it seems that we need to get something straight here because if you really think that the actuarial career is a good fit for you and it's something that you'd like to do, then I would have hoped that you would have answered with none of the above. And no, that actually wasn't an option, but you could have put it in the comments. You see, I know that choosing to become an actuary feels like a big decision. You may be feeling like the competition is too much. You may be feeling like the time commitment is too long. You may be feeling like the chance of failing is too high, or you may be feeling like you're starting too late. But deep inside, I think you keep on watching these videos. You keep on following us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and you keep reading our emails, which by the way, you can sign up for down below in the description of this video, all because a part of you still wants to pursue the actuarial career despite these concerns. And if that's true, then you absolutely need to watch this video to the end. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community, where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates and get their very first actuarial job all without an internship. Okay, so about 15 years ago now, there was this high school girl that found out about the actuarial career in grade 11. And after hearing about it, she immediately knew that it was the career that she had been looking for, a career that she thought she'd stay in for years and years, her whole life, really. Thing is, it didn't work out that way. She went to school for actuarial science, she passed some exams, she got a job, and then she became an associate of the Society of Actuaries. And then, out of almost nowhere, pretty much randomly, she decided one day that she was going to pursue a completely different career, an entrepreneurial career. And if you didn't catch on there, that girl was me. You see, 10 years ago, I never, ever would have thought I would be in the place that I am right now. And nowadays, that's just how it is for a lot of people like us, people that are self-motivated, people that have a growth mindset, people that want to continue to improve themselves every single day. They often go into a career that seems interesting at the time. They do that for a while, they achieve great things, and then want to try something completely new, something different, a completely interesting career to keep their mind challenged and to keep learning. In fact, there was a recent edX study done that shows that 29% of Americans aged 25 to 44 have made a complete career change since their first post-college job. And there are tons of studies out there indicating that nowadays the average person changes careers every three to five years of their working life. So this changing careers, switching companies, trying something new career-wise is no big deal anymore like it used to be. Back in the 1950s or the 60s, maybe it was the 70s, I don't really know, but it used to be common to stay in one job for your entire working life. And that is far from the truth today. So you see, making the decision to pursue an actuarial career sort of seems like a big decision because you may be treating it as if once you decide on this career, then you're stuck in it until retirement. But that is so, so far from from the truth. No matter what career you choose now, you'll always have the option to choose something different later. You're never going to be stuck if you decide that this career, the actuarial career, or any other career you choose is not for you. A career is not permanent. To me, one of the worst things you could do is to avoid a career that you think you would absolutely love, one that meets all the criteria that you're looking for in the perfect career, just because of one of these reasons or something else. Even though we'd like to think we know what our future holds for us, like I did way back then 10, 15 years ago, we don't. We have no idea. And we don't need to try to plan out our whole lives 5, 10, 15 or more years into the future. There is always going to be opportunity for growth and change. And being in the actuarial career, in my opinion, is absolutely one of the best ways to open tons of doors for yourself in the future if you do decide to go in a different direction. Like I said, I used to be in an actuarial role and now I'm in an entrepreneurial role. But others have gone different directions. Some people go into finance, accounting, economics, data analysis, statistics, teaching, there are so many career opportunities that you can get into having the experience and knowledge and skill set that an actuary has. Actuaries are involved with math, business, finance. They have this amazing, robust knowledge of so many things and they have an incredible skill set that is valuable in so many careers. And no matter what, you are bound to use this skill set in the actuarial career if you decide to stay in it or in any other career 
career that you decide to pursue in the future if you decide down the road that the actuarial career ends up not being what you really want in a career anymore. So if the actuarial career is the career for you right now, then stop hesitating on your decision to pursue the career. Just go for it. At this point in your life, you have absolutely no idea what your future holds for you. So go for your dreams now, whatever they may be. And if they change in the future, that is totally fine. It's normal. No one is going to judge you for it. And honestly, it's likely to happen no matter which career you choose. And by the way, a few weeks ago, I released a video about the top three reasons to become an actuary. So if you're still worried about your decision to become an actuary and pursue this career, then make sure you go watch this video next. That's all for this week. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.